I bet you didn't realize there was so much gold in things you use all the time, especially nowadays. In computers and cell phones, those chips have got gold-plated pins. And this gentleman is using gold stripping to remove the gold from those pins into a solution. They use that gold stripping for pile after pile of those pins until he has enough to strain through. And all that black liquid that pours through and is rinsed down and through contains tiny particulate gold. And what he'll use is a process called electrolytic processing. He positively charges a ring of metal around the outside and drops in a negative electrode in the form of that rod. And when he pumps in 50 amps or 60 volts to that liquid, the gold will actually stick to that negative electrode rod in the center. Some of it might filter down to the bottom as well, and that would need to be collected. But most of it, as you'll see, this incredible chemical process taking place actually causes that gold dust to attach itself to the base of the rod. Just look at that. That can all be scraped away and kept. That will end up as gold. Not easy to remove it, but it's worth it because of the value of gold itself. Just look at what happened. That formerly yellow solution turned almost black. Slowly boiled down until just a little bit of that black sludge was left. Now to mix up a solution of nitric acid and water and boil it. And eventually you'll be left with a black powder. That black powder just about ready as gold dust. It's rinsed over and over again with incredibly hot water and then eventually heated with induction before all of the borax can be added in a crucible. And when this is lit up, you'll see it melt together to become a tiny little drop of gold. The electrolytic process for extracting gold. Pretty cool stuff.